The competitors in these so-called tent Olympics are 120 boys representing 12 refugee camps. Most have been displaced by more than 10 years of war, relying on humanitarian aid to survive. It's not quite like the real thing. There are no girls taking part for a start, but this collective sporting event serves an important purpose. Through these Olympics, we search for a revival of hope and also to remind the international community of the plight of the children and other camp residents. The games began to loud cheers and there are plenty of events to excite the crowd, ranging from a karate bout, complete with child referee, a long jump and a high jump. A javelin competitor goes through his paces in the open arena. Another youngster throws a discus. I came with 10 other players. We had a lot of fun. I am 12 years old. I won second place in the long jump. We won. A lack of equipment and apparatus was overcome with imagination, none more so than in this horse racing event. The boys are aged between 8 and 14, and many were competing in sports they'd never previously participated in. I played badminton and came in first place. We feel happy and at ease. After the judges announced the winners, it was time for the medal ceremony and more cheering. And then, like its Tokyo equivalent, fireworks brought a close to the proceedings. A very different games to Tokyo, but where the taking part was just as important as winning a medal. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera.